Span is the smallest containing subspace. So by that I mean that if we uh, take some vectors, so let's let L uh, be V1 through Vm, so this is going to be a list of vectors in V, uh, then the precise statement, and so this is theorem uh, 2.7 in the text, um, is that the smallest subspace of V containing these vectors is the span of them. Okay, so for the proof, um, the, the first thing is to notice that the span of any set, or the span of any list, I guess, um, is a subspace. And this is basically automatic by construction. So uh, the book dutifully goes through and, and, and proves this part, and, and um, I, I'll let you read it there. But to my mind, that's more or less straightforward, because if you take uh, a collection of vectors and say, all right, now let's make it closed under addition and scalar multiplication by throwing in all linear combinations of things I already have, then you get something that's closed under linear combinations, and so it's going to be a subspace. Um, but the, the book goes through that in a couple steps, so I'll, I'll let you read it there. Okay. Um, and it's, it's also pretty clear that it contains each of the, the vectors v1 through vm. And, and the reason for that is just when you take a, a linear combination of these guys, Um, you can simply set all of the coefficients to be equal to zero, except for the one that you're interested in, uh, and then you set that coefficient equal to one, and you get vj. So you're going to definitely be able to get each of the individual vectors back. All right. So we have that span L as a subspace that contains each of the given vectors. All I need to show now is that it's the smallest such subspace. So, suppose that W is any subspace containing V1 through Vm. Okay, then we show that W contains the span. So if I show that any subspace contains the span, then the span has to be the smallest subspace that does the job and contains those vectors. Okay, so let's see. So, uh, so I'm gonna show that the, um, the span is contained in W. So let's take something from the span. All right, um, well, let's see. So now I can use the definition of the span to say then, uh, u has to look like a1 v1 plus da 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 up to a m v m because that's what the span is it's the collection of of all uh, objects of of this form here okay um. uh, and then you notice that since w is a subspace it's closed undertaking uh, linear combinations. Right? So since U is a linear combination of, of elements of uh, W,
So we know that u is an element of w. All right, so I picked something in span L and showed that it had to also be an element of um, uh, w. So this implication here is equivalent to uh, the thing that we're trying to show. Namely, that we have the inclusion. So this, this um, <coughs> inclusion right here is exactly the same thing as this implication statement right here. So we're done.